What's up YouTube? Sticks and Seams coming at you with another video today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I uh, got a bunch of stuff to show off today. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, you know there's going to be Griffey in there, but uh, I do uh, have some other stuff to show off. Uh, as you can see in the background, I did pick up another Project 70. It's the Trout. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, I did have the Acuna as well. I just like the style of the artist with kind of the creepy horror vibe thing. So I figured why not pick it up? It's completely worthless, but I like the artwork and I like the card. So um, I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, like I said, hope everybody's doing well out there. I've just been trying to go through some of my collection, sorting some stuff, organizing some stuff. I actually found the uh, a card that I thought I lost and misplaced. It was a David Ortiz. Um, rookie card and uh, I was super bummed because I've seen the card selling for like three figures now and I was like I know I had this card uh, so I was lucky enough to find that again uh, it's kind of crazy man I know you all probably feel the same way you end up getting so much stuff and you put stuff in a certain place and tend to forget about it and then when you actually want it you can't find it excuse me but uh, you know in this instance I was fortunate so I'm going to just kind of hop into this one, a uh, fair amount to show off, and uh, up first I just got a 2018 Panini Optic, it's the purple uh, Walker Bueller rookie. Uh, this is a seller on eBay that usually posts a bunch of stuff, and I usually just buy it, he takes good deals from me because I've been purchasing for a while, combined shipping and stuff, so that's how I end up picking a lot of those rookies up for pretty cheap, it's like my dollar bin, essentially. Uh, via eBay. Up next, uh, just because it was cheap, 2020 tops. Uh, it's the Baseball Stars signature, Lance McCullers. Uh, he's actually a Tampa boy, so I like to support the local guys. Um, then we got 97 Donruss, the Power Alley. Uh, this is numbered to 4,000 Barry Bonds. It was dirt cheap. I think it was like a dollar or two, so I figured I'd pick that up. Because the Griffey blew up. <laughs> uh, then we got a uh, nice Nomar for the PC from 99 Omega. It's the five tool talents. These are tiered. Um, this one's numbered to 100. I think I have one other version of this. But I actually really like this card. It's nothing too special about it. But I like the orange background and that kind of grayish blue border. Um, nice card there. For the Nomar PC. And I picked up another Nomar, and I have a lot of Nomars coming in. This is from 99 Tops Chrome Refractor. Shines a lot better in person. But um, anytime I can pick up some refractors of Nomar cheap, I always do it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, for those of you who've been watching my videos, I've been picking these off um, as they come up and for reasonable prices. So this is from 20. 21 tops, the silver pack mojos. I got the blue there, the green in the base. Was able to pick up a couple of others, and I got the purple. Looks nice there. And I got the gold. And this is number 250, I believe, and this is actually number one of 50. So lucky to get that one. Um, seller had it for a pretty high price, but. Um, Surprisingly enough, took my offer, 50% uh, of what it was listed, and he took it, um, or she took it, so I'm grateful there, came to a good home. Missing, I believe, the red, obviously the Super Fractor, and I think there might be an orange as well. Um, I haven't even seen a red or an orange. Saw the Super Fractor for 10K, so <laughs> I just really like the design of the card. Again, love 86, love the refractorage, you know, with my 90s roots and Griffey, obviously, so it's kind of the trifecta for me. Then uh, this is from that other seller, 2001. It's the Topps Gold, um, kind of the 89 rookie reprint, but these were sequentially numbered to 2001. I didn't have that. Pick that up nice and cheap. Uh, believe it or not, didn't have this one, so I figured I better get it. Uh, it was from 98 Donner's Preferred, um, the Tidal Waves. These are serial numbered as well to 1997, but yeah, there you go. It's kind of like um, 
almost like a plasticky card stock. Cool card though. Sorry if you heard my stomach growling. Uh, let's see here. From 94 Upper Deck, this is the Mickey Mantle's Long Shot, and this is the Electric Diamond version. These are pretty cards. I have it graded just in the base. Um, and did not have the Electric Diamond, and that seller had it. Got a good deal on that. This is a tricky card here. It's a card that's, you know, just very blasé for a lot of people. Uh, but 98 Omega. And these are the EO portraits. And these cards were actually quite rare. And I'll show you what they do. They're 1 in 73 packs. So it's 1 in like 3 boxes really. Doesn't look like anything, right? Nothing special. And there you see the technology there. Griffey's kind of pixelated in the background. You can only see it in light. Looks really good with um, natural light as well. Like if you hold it up to the sun. But again, look at one in 73 packs there. This is a card I just had to hop on the train because it's starting to get out of my price range here. Uh, or at least what I'm comfortable paying for them. And I have all the other versions. So... This is from 97 Flare Ultra, and it is the Hitting Machines. Beautiful card, you know, the foil etching, the die cut, very condition sensitive, but this is in really good shape. Um, this one came all the way from Hawaii, an interesting story. I actually did my undergraduate in Hawaii, and this individual lived the street over from where I lived. When I saw the address come in, I kind of chuckled. I thought that was funny. Uh, this was more of an in impulse buy, but it was a steal of a deal. Um, when the seller sent it to me, it, um, it was one of those instances where there's delays in the mail kind of thing. It took three weeks to get to me, but, um, the price tag, the original packaging would, which he bought it probably at a card shop or maybe has a card shop of his own was on it. And I got this for, 70% off that price. So it was a win for me. I always loved this card. And it is Upper Deck Game Jersey. Ken Griffey Jr. Auto. It's a beautiful card. Beautiful example. It's in good shape. Um, I got that card for just under $100. So... Not saying it to brag. Just saying it. There are deals to be had. If you are in the right place at the right time, which I tend not to be, but in this instance I was, and I'm glad to be taking that one home. And one of the last pickups here is from 2018. It's the Topps Complete Set Ronald Acuna Rookie. I, um, I have some of these already. I mean, not the Complete Set version. It looks exactly the same to me. I don't really even know the difference between the pack pulled one and this one. Probably nothing. But uh, I didn't have it graded, so I figured I'd buy that. It was a pretty reasonable price. I've seen they've kind of jumped up a little bit. And this is my last pickup. Kind of a unique piece. And uh, I've seen other people show them off before, and this was a really good deal. So I figured I might as well just get one. And it is actually the film from Pacific Trading Cards when they were trying to find out which picture to put on the card that year. Um, I'll show you what it kind of looks like in the back. Let me try and get this stand out. So that's kind of what we're looking at in the back. That obviously was not the, the picture selected for the card that year, but uh, that seller actually did have that one as well. Uh, wanted a lot of money for it, but I'm glad just getting one. I'll take it all day long. It was really cheap, and it's a unique piece. As you can see here, yeah, that was the photographer, Rob Leiter. It was taken March 13th, 1998, or processed. I mean, they weren't really playing baseball on March 13th. And uh, unless it's spring training, I suppose. And it was San Francisco at Seattle. So definitely not spring training. But uh, very cool. And that's about it, everyone. I uh, hope you like the pickups. I sure did. Uh, now I can uh, kind of put them all away. Because things were starting to get a mess in here. Uh, like I said, I do have some pretty good things on the way. Made a good vintage purchase last night, which is a check off the 2021 goal. Um, excited about that. And uh, that's about it. So till next time. Hope everybody stays well and 
keep collecting.